Get my book today, A Guide to Coin Hunting from the most subscribed coin channel in the United States, Couch Collectibles, only available on couchcollectibles.com. Growing up, Pokemon cards was my favorite. I love collecting Pokemon cards. I had all kinds of great ones, the Charizards, the Blastoids, and then they all got stolen when I was a kid and my heart just shattered. So today we are going to be looking at some super rare Pokemon cards that are worth thousands and thousands of dollars and what you could be looking for in your old cards, maybe that you have at your mom and dad's or your attic or in your garage stored away that can give them some some value. So let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off with a 1995 Pokemon card uh, from Japan. Now this is the Charizard with the green back. You'll see the back of the card here with that green lettering. Now this card is graded at a Gem Mint 10 by PSA. So that grade, these grades on these cards going forward in this video are going to be very, very important because you can have a card graded at a 10, one graded at a 9, and have significant uh, differences in values, thousands of dollars in differences in values, all because of the condition or the grade of the card uh, and the grade population of the card, of course. So this card ended up selling for $15,000 at auction. Now here is an Alakazam card. So this is the first edition from 1999. You'll see the little first edition sign there on the left side. This is also the shadowless version of this card. So if you're not familiar with what shadowless is, uh, that's what you really hear famously on uh, the Charizard card. So here's an example of that. So here's a Charizard card that has the shadow. You see where it's circled? That's where the shadow is, the drop shadow there. All right, so you'll see here on this one, the middle card, it does not have the shadow. And then here on the left side, the first edition example, you'll see that the first edition is circled to kind of show you where that's at. And this is also the shadowless card. So big difference there. You can see the difference between shadowless and the example with the shadow, the unlimited version there. So which one is the rarest of these three? The first edition shadowless. That is the rarest. And then next up is the shadowless. Uh, so keep that in mind. Big difference in values uh, for those cards based on if it's first edition and if it's shadowless as well. So back to the Alakazam. This is the first edition and it's the shadowless version of this card. This card graded at a mint nine sold for over $2,000. $700. $2,700 for this card. Man, I used to love these hollow cards, man. Next up is a Blastoise. I had all these cards and it just brings back so many great memories. 1999, Blastoise, first edition. This is the Shadowless as well. Uh, so, same thing as the Alakazam, graded at a mint nine. This card sold for $7,800. So if you have these cards, first edition sh shadow list that's in very you know decent condition, I would consider sending those to PSA to have graded uh, because you could make uh, you know a nice nice profit. Uh, $7,800 there. Now here is the Chansey version of the first edition shadow list as well, graded at a mint nine by PSA. This card ended up selling for $2,100 at auction. So $2,000 for that card there. You just can't beat that. Now here's what we've been looking for. The 1999 Charizard first edition shadowless card. Now of course these are going to fluctuate in values tremendously over the last two or three years uh, because of the Pokemon craze coming back. You know these cards are continuously being resold for more and more money. So the values are kind of crazy. You just got to keep up with the current dated prices. Uh, this is the first edition. Again we'll see that first edition mark. It is the shadowless version. This card graded at a mint nine by PSA sold for $75,000 at auction. Unbelievable. Now here is a first edition shadowless Charizard as well. This one is graded by Beckett. Uh, at an 8.5. So this card here sold for over $8,100. Big difference from $75, BGS 8.5 to a PSA Mint 9. So two different grading companies and two different conditions, two different grades. Uh, so big difference there in values. Now here's a 1999, again, first edition shadowless Charizard, but this one is graded at a seven by PSA. Again, a seven. Uh, much different than a Mint 9, but this card still sold for over $10,000 at auction, uh, which is 
incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now here is the Mewtwo card from 1999. Again, first edition Shadowless, graded at a mint nine by PSA. This card sold for over $2,700. So nearly a $3,000 card there. Uh, of course, I had this card as well. So uh, the, I'm showing you some of my favorite cards uh, that I had growing up here. And you know, some of the, uh, you know, really, really famous ones. Now this one here is from the Jungle Set. I like these when these come out, you know, uh, Vaporeon, uh, first edition Hollow. This does have the shadow on uh, these versions, but it is the first edition. And it's graded at a Gem Mint 10, a perfect grade. I mean, that is incredible. Uh, someone, uh, you know, had to pull that right out of a pack and get that graded. This Vaporeon Pokemon card ended up selling for over $7,500. $7,000 for that card, that's unbelievable. Now here's a 1999 uh, Venusaur uh, Pokemon card. Now this is the first edition Shadowless, so you will not see the shadow on that. Uh, it is graded by PSA at a mint nine, and this card sold for over $4,300 at auction. You just can't beat it, man. $4,000 for a piece of cardboard. Here is a 2000 Topps Chrome Charizard card. Now, you know, I never thought these would be worth anything. I had these cards as well. I had tons of these cards. And I didn't really even, I mean, these got stolen as well with my other Pokemon uh, cards uh, by Wizards of the Coast, of course. Uh, but this Topps card, I had tons of these, and uh, I, I really didn't care for them too much. I really focused on the original Wizards of the Coast Pokemon cards. I would have never had this card in a Gym Mint 10, so I don't feel so bad. But the card did sell for over $14,000. Uh, graded at a perfect grade by PSA, so... Can't get better than that, man. 14 grand. Let me know what you guys would do with 14 grand in the comments below. All right, so here's another Pokemon card. Uh, you know, this is not going to be first edition. This is going to be the year 2000. This is about the time that I stopped collecting. I remember having this card. I remember this being the end of my Pokemon run. Uh, and then the cards got stolen, and then I was pretty much done with it. Uh, but it is graded at a Gem Mint 10, and this Pokemon card ended up selling for over $32,000 uh, because of that perfect grade by PSA. Unbelievable. All right, here's Brock's Nine Tails, not graded, and this card sold for $9,600, nearly a $10,000 card. It is the first edition Nine Tails card here. You can even see at the top that it's definitely not going to grade at a Gym Mint 10. You can see the edges there. Not a Gym Mint 10. Wow, $9,600 on eBay for that card. Here's a 2003 more modern Pokemon card. This is way out of my lead. I was not collecting in 2003. I was collecting the original Pokemon cards. Uh, so Sky Ridge, Charizard, Hollow. Uh, graded at a perfect grade, Gym Mint 10. Sold for over $13,000. 13 grand. Now, here's an even more modern Charizard. 2006 Pokemon Gold Star Charizard Hollow that is graded by PSA at a Gem Mint 10. This card ended up selling for over $21,000 on eBay, nearly a $22,000 card. Uh, just unbelievable. So if you guys got Pokemon cards laying around, maybe your kids had Pokemon cards uh, that they had growing up and you just threw them in a shoebox, uh, I would definitely recommend checking those, especially for the first edition shadowless uh, versions or just the shadowless cards in general if they're in decent shape. Uh, some of those are definitely worth having graded depending on the grade population for each different card. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comments section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.